Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to rebuild master database. Uh, this video is going to help you under following scenarios. Number one, that master database backup is available, that you have a master da database backup. SQL Server is offline. And due to some reasons, corruption, the services aren't starting uh, of the SQL Server, not even in single mode. So there are two methods basically that you could use to rebuild your master database. Number one, restore master database to another SQL Server instance. And keep in mind that I have put down here uh, the same version. So if you have a backup uh, of your master database and you're trying to restore it to uh, another instance, that instance needs to have the same version uh, and same service packs. So after that you restore that, we will move master.mdf, the MDF files and LDF files and uh, replace the faulty ones. And that's method one. And method two is rebuild all system databases and restore them after the rebuild. And in this demo, we'll be taking the math, uh, method one, and then in next demo, we'll be uh, working on method two. Keep in mind that uh, if you do not have any SQL Server instance that matches your faulty SQL Server instance, then you might as well take the approach of method two. In this video, we'll be learning how to restore master database on another instance from its backup how to run SQL Server in a single user mode because when you restore master database backup, the prerequisite is that SQL Server instance needs to run in single user mode. And how to restore master database, obviously this is all about, uh, this demo is all about that. And resolution to the error can't log in SQL Server is in single user mode. And we'll be applying some logical tricks to that. Uh, how do how do we log in after um, other application get hold of which is um, a service account uh, also sys admin on the SQL Server and get hold of SQL Server after you start the SQL Server in single mode and then it won't let you uh, get into the SQL Server but uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, find a solution resolution to that so let's go ahead and uh, let me show you quickly first this is my SQL Server. This is my faulty instance. If I try to restart the SQL Server instance, uh, it's not the services are not going to restart. So um, what I need to do is basically let me show you real quick that where files are resided for this uh, particular instance. So what we're gonna go and find that um, this is my SQL Server instance, MS SQL 12. SQL test. If you notice right here these are my system files right here master uh, and master log however uh, it's these are corrupted so I can't use them services are not restarting so what do you need to do basically uh, in the in the first scenario that if you wanted to just go ahead and do the master and uh, master log you what you need to do is just just as a prerequisite you can keep the backup of all the uh, just a precaution keep the backup of MDF LDF since ser services are down you can copy these files and I have put that in the backup right here so uh, let's go and uh, take a look on the second instance where I'm going to use and I do have an instance that matches the faulty instance uh, version and uh, also the SP so we're going to go ahead and log into that SQL server and perform our tasks so this is my T-SQL client. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and log into this one. First of all, uh, as you can see right here, the, this is the version right here, SQL Server 2012. Uh, SQL Server 2014 uh, 12.0.2000 this needs to be matched and up here you can look at some of the configuration enabled so um, let's go ahead and take a look on the uh, where the uh, system data and log files are system databases so select asterisk from sys dot master underscore files and if you look at it right now we're just interested in master so right here is the master um, data file and log file and we double click that right here is master MD and it is in 
uh, MS SQL 12 SQL Server Mirror and let's go and um, basically take a look SQL Server and here is MS SQL 12 SQL Mirror and here is all the um, master and mass all the model and msdb these are the system databases that's already resided in it now what we need to do in order to uh, restore the backup that we have for the faulty one we need to basically first uh, rename these master and log file uh, and uh, take a backup of every other um, instant uh, every other uh, data and log files of the system databases and put it in a backup because we need to uh, restore this instance back as well so what we're going to do is first uh, turn off the services of this instance I, I'm gonna call it the target instance for you uh, that is going to be in our demo the target instance so up here I'm going to go ahead and stop the services This is the SQL Server instance where we want to restore our faulty um, backup. Backup is good, but uh, uh, the instance back master database master backup that is uh, a faulty SQL Server instance. So what we're going to do now is since we have uh, uh, turned the SQL services down, our system databases are free to copy. So what we're going to do is basically I'm going to go ahead and rename master underscore original and then up here the log underscore original just for the safe safe side what I'm going to do is take the backup of all the other system databases so I'm going to go ahead and select all the system data let me make a quick folder right here so I'm going to go ahead and get all the system database backups these are the file backups so we're basically taking the backup of MDF and LDFs alright we got the backup now we don't have the um, up here the master uh, LD, uh, MDF and LDF so now we can go ahead and basically restore our master database on this particular server instance right here so in order to do that we need to turn off all the services so that uh, because we need to put the SQL server in single mode and once we put that there we don't want any uh, basically user to come in and connect to our SQL server so let's refresh that and everything is down so what we're going to do is get the backup copy which is um, let me go and take a look right here this is our master database copy so I'm going to go ahead and copy that to one of my share folder so that I can put it on our local target server So that's master.bak. We're gonna go ahead to go our target server and get that master and put it on our local. Date modified, I'm going to do copy this and basically go ahead and create another folder on our tar target server, SQL system backup so I'm going to put our master backup that is right here so I have master now I have to go ahead and restart the SQL server in single user mode and uh, try to restore this master database once the master database is restored it'll create MDF and LDF and then we will take those MDF and LDF and replace it with the faulty MDF and LDF so let's go ahead and do that 
I'm going to go to the properties in order to start SQL Server in single mode you use dash M option right here so we're gonna go ahead and add that in parameters apply okay click OK and restart the services Oh, I apologize. Basically, we renamed those databases right here. It needs to be, we have a copy. Hold on. So we're going to go ahead and basically let SQL Server use those master files. because otherwise SQL Server won't restart. So we have the backup uh, master original and master log. Um, you don't have to basically rename right here. So we're gonna go ahead and um, rename these back to the original one so that our uh, service server can start in a single mode. All right, so we should be all good. Let's start the services in single mode. Okay, S SQL Server services started in a single mode. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can go ahead and log in using SQL Server Management Studio. So we're going to go ahead and click on new query. And it's, it might tell us that uh, this SQL Server is in single user mode, so can't connect. All right, let's first go ahead and disconnect this and connect it again. any error that we will encounter in this demo I'll be resolving it right here let's take a look if our, our services are still started SQL meter is started so I'm going to go ahead and basically cancel this and start the management studio again. This is an uh, unexpected error. The network, let me go ahead and start the browsing services. It might be, the browsing services might be different port and it's looking to go in a, on a right port. So there it is. So we're, and let's go ahead and just to make sure that um, it's in single user mode. So we're gonna go ahead SQL CMD dash S and TBS client is my host name and we're gonna go ahead and SQL mirror is my instance name SQL M I R R as you can see that it is in single user mode as you can see right here the server is in single user mode so uh, basically uh, when you try you connected it can only allow one sysadmin connection to the SQL server so if I if we try to connect to new query right here 
it's going to give us the same error but that's okay we're going to go ahead and restart the sql services one more time so that we can use sql server management studio to restore our database so we're going to go ahead and restart this as soon as this restarts we will go back to our login screen and try to log in into the sql server you can also use sql cmd uh, to do that and if we connect it should let us connect so we are connected with the uh, uh, sql server instance let's go ahead and uh, restore our database from the backup of other instance that is our faulty instance restore database and we need to find the path exact path where our database backup is which is right here Restore, we're restoring master from disk equal to, and then you put the path of, of your backup file. And we're going to go ahead and tell it replace the existing one. So let's go ahead and run it. As you can see that it has restored the database. And let's see up here, go back to sorry go back to our um, files SQL server client and look at the time as timestamp right here of the master we're gonna go ahead and date modified right here is 539 539 so these two right here we have basically uh, uh, gotten master database and master log so we're gonna go ahead and stop the services of this SQL server and get our master MDF copy those onto our uh, target SQL server uh, faulty SQL server instance we're gonna stop this too alright let's move the files now I'm going to go ahead and copy that into our shared folder paste and it's gonna say replace existing file because I had master and log right here so yes as you can see the 539 timestamp on this so we're gonna go ahead go back before we come back to this instance and bring a TBS client SQL mirror up we're going to go ahead and bring our faulty SQL server instance up so I'm gonna go back up here and get these master and log copy these and paste it right here and yes replace all files all right so we have replaced master and master log so let's go ahead and try to restart our SQL server on here so this is my SQL server test I'm going to first check whether it is starting right the parameters are right so we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot as you can see the SQL server services restarted successfully so our method basically worked so what we need what we need to do now is go ahead and start the other services right here One thing I do want to mention, the advantage of this sort of uh, solution is that you don't have to uh, restore your um, other system database backups, such as uh, other system databases, such as MSD, uh, MSDB and model, uh, because uh, if you uh, go ahead and use the method too, and it'll rebuild all the system databases, then that way you have to basically restore all the system databases once the SQL Server is up. So let's go ahead and um, look at it what we did. So we, we did how to restore master database on another instance from its backup. We restored it and we made sure that it's the same version. But if there wouldn't be a same version, you wouldn't be able to do the method one. In next demo, we'll do the method two. 
and uh, how we ran the SQL Server in single user mode and uh, how we restored the master database backup and how we uh, got MDF and LDF from our target um, SQL Server to our faulty SQL Server and brought that this SQL Server online. And I hope this video helps.